don't even know if it's morning. What time is it? Oh, it's afternoon. But I lied. I'm going to the DMV today because I just want to get it over with, honestly. I got, well, James got me a orange dreamsicle, dreamsicle monster. Love. It's my favorite. But we're heading to my best friend's house because my best friend is going with me. I'm making her because I hate going places by myself. I am not at that level of independence yet. So, yeah. <laughs> at the DMV today, I have to take a vision test and I have to uh, take another photo, which I was going to do a full beat on my face but the last photos that I've taken at the DMV they have not come out like good whatsoever so I'm not even interested in doing a full face of makeup because that lighting in there the flash photography that they be doing it's just all bad and I was telling my best friend that I'm on the way she has a freaking sticker so if you have an iPhone you know you can make stickers of me at like my most busted okay and i'm just all like oh my gosh of course but that's literally where we're at right now and yeah today i sprayed um the febreze antimicrobial um spray that i got from target yesterday on my couch cushions um because it says it works. So hopefully it does. My, I'm telling you, navigating life with me is always a learning experience. So literally, <laughs> I thought that I could just spray, you know, like bleach and water on the foam part of our couch and our couch would be fine. But, that was literally the dumbest mistake that I have ever made because I threw them. So the bleach and water was fine, perfect. It worked so good. But um, I was getting impatient, so I decided to throw the foam into the dryer. And you can only imagine <laughs> what happened after that, which was a hot mess so part of our foam was like torn off cheers luckily i saw like what it did to the first two cushions and i thought it was because the cushions were like extremely wet but they were just like um damp so that's so I just assumed it was the first one was maybe I sprayed like that much. But I did the second foam, like couch cushion foam. And no, I was wrong. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Okay, so... <laughs> I hate my best friend. Oh my gosh. She's like literally calling me out because she was like, I know you didn't take two hours to just do your hair and throw on some lashes. And I was like, no, I was editing our like vlog for Air, like, or when we were at Airtopia. Even though it's not a long vlog, I don't know what it is. Like, once I laid my bed, I don't know if you're like me, but if I lay down and I'm comfortable, I am not moving, like, whatsoever. I really want to put on my sunglasses because I have, so I got LASIK, like, I think four years ago, five years ago, and literally, I have to wear them, like, all the way down here because my lashes are so long, unless I, like, look up, no, yeah, no, I can't do that. So that's just where we're gonna be right now. I don't even know if you can see the struggle that's going on behind these lenses. Honey, I 
need to get smaller lashes or just like window tint on my freaking car. car I'm just gonna take these off I think it's so weird that people just stare into people's cars like I can't even say anything because I do that but if I have sunglasses on some people have no shame and will legitimately stare at you see what you're doing see if you're hot or not you know I don't know but the other day when uh, Crystal and I went to Target um, this guy was like following me around and I'm telling you when I go out 99.5% of the time honey I'm looking dusted busted but um or what is it I'm looking crusty dusty no I'm looking dusty crusty but I'm not musty okay because I always shower um but yeah he was following me around so I ended up going up to him asking him if we had a problem and he was just all like oh no I just want to know what um, perfume you're wearing and blah 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 so I just told him and I was like oh because you know I have like social anxiety I cannot be um, out and about by myself I just get so anxious and so stressed and I feel like I really do hide behind my sunglasses a lot of the time like especially when I'm doing car vlogs because I know I don't have to look at the camera you know but yeah and also I really do need sunglasses because it's bright to me and it's hurting my eyes maybe I will just put them on really quick I feel so boo like happening behind the sunglasses you would be dying my lashes are they just won't let me so we're just gonna deal with it today I got these lashes they're like the single or like individual like cluster glue wands so I just um, I use the mascara and then I just do the clusters on my lashes and they do last I don't know if it's um, if it's I feel like I talk with a list sometimes if I'm trying to talk so fast. So that's why lately I've been trying to talk slower. Because like my mind is talking faster in my head than my mouth can like speak. I can't. I'm just a mess, honey. <laughs> like, girl, don't judge me, okay? Um, Anyway, what was I getting at? Oh, so the lashes. I get these from Amazon and then I just glue the clusters on with um, the falsecara. They last, but honestly, I, honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but they never stay on my face longer than overnight. And I feel like I do not move a lot when I sleep. Like, because when I'm in a comfortable position, I feel like I can just stay in that position majority of the day. But I don't know. And then, like, my eye, like, my eyelids are, like, so sore because, like, they're basically ripping out of my face. So, yeah. And I don't know why it's so busy today. Like, there's traffic on the road going to my best friend's house because I feel like, what's today? Tuesday? I don't even know what today is. But it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. My time. And there's just so many cars on the road. <sighs> Yesterday we had Popeyes for dinner and I totally forgot that they have spicy chicken which is my favorite anything spicy i'm down for but if it's too too spicy 
girl, I cannot do, like, I get heartburn and stuff, so I do take, like, heartburn pills. I'm about that age where I really gotta take medication because I'm just too lazy to work out. But I do the pills, and that helps, but I don't want to have to rely on pills. I really do need to get back into fitness, which I'm planning on doing once we move back in, or once we move back, oh my gosh, get it together. Once we move into my cousin's house, because we're going to be staying with her until we move to the East Coast, um, just to like save money and pay off like more bills, because I really just this year, I'm determined to pay off as much debt as we possibly can. And if that means we got a roommate it, we doing it. I'm not above it because it's only temporary. It's not forever. And my cousin is going to buy a house herself. So we're just helping each other out. But I'm excited about that because I, my cousin is my everything. She is my go-to. She is my vault. That is my ride or die. I call her Drake. <laughs> and like, I'm going to vlog with her one of these days, but, um, You'll understand why. <laughs> love her. You will love her too, girl. Because honestly, she's a whole vibe. This car is driving so freaking slow. Oh my gosh. I love this um, jean jacket. I got it from my godmom. I don't know how many years ago, but... I got it from her and it has all these like pockets on the inside, the pockets here. Why am I hitting every yellow light? Jeez. That's where we're at. Oh, and so I know it's telling you that I wanted to get another phone to add to our cell phone plan. I think James and I are going to go to T-Mobile on Friday, if I'm not mistaken, because I think that's it. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he has off, but this week was his, like, workout week, so he had to go in today, which is why, oh, which is another reason why I am going to the DMV today because I don't know if I'll have the car tomorrow and it just doesn't make sense for my best friend to drive 45 minutes my way to drive back up 45 minutes to drive back down to drop me off at home. That is crazy to me. I would never. She has a DMV that's right by her house. And yeah, so hopefully it's fast. I brought all the documents that I could think of. Oh, and I have to do a change of address too. So I don't even know what I needed for that. But hopefully the electricity bill and am I going to add somebody? Um, hopefully the electricity bill and the insurance um, proof will show that like I do live where I live. I don't know. But I'm hoping I just get in, get out. I don't even care how my picture looks or it comes out. And I was telling James that because I feel like every time, I don't know if it's you too, but every time I go to the DMV to go take my photo, I always ask them to like take two and I'll just like let them know which one to pick. They legit choose the one that looks like a potential mugshot. They're coming for me. I just know it. I feel it. So, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, BRB. My best friend is, like, blowing up my phone and I, like, need to read it. So, hold on. Thanks, girl. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. I have a lot more energy and I really do feel like because I was cleansing from all, the, like, the bad drinks stuff like soda when we had to live with my best friend I literally was drinking water well actually no correction I ha did have some soda but nothing crazy I feel like 
maybe I went a little overboard because I was breaking out. And it, <laughs> that's how I knew I was over. Um, that's how I, yeah. That's how I knew I was overdoing it. But, what is this? Uh, my best friend is texting me, like, the, oh, um, code. Oh my gosh. For the uh, DMV. Because you know how you get, like, a number or whatever? Um, so that's what we're doing. She was like, I need, what's the code? What's the passcode? I'm literally trying to juggle all these. I'm just trying to get my life together. And I feel like every time I do, and or am slowly getting my life together, something else pops up. So I wouldn't be surprised if after I get my license in the mail, boom, registration, I already know it. And our registration is freaking expensive. I'm just happy that we can write it off on taxes. But I mean, geez, $450 for a Jeep. And it's a 2019. Where did I go wrong? What did I do wrong? Because I'm asking everybody else how much their registration is. And apparently mine is the most expensive. So I don't know if like when we were at the dealership, if I did something wrong with the paperwork. Or if that's just really the registration for the car but it's like ridiculous to me that's half a thousand dollars half a thousand dollars for a sticker ridiculous if they ever ask me to do a driving test to redo my driver's license oh honey i will not pass and uh, you know what i will I would accept it for what it is because <laughs> I've been driving since I was 16. I am 30 now. So the fact that half the signs on the road, I don't even know what they mean because yeah, I guess I just never really been around those kind of signs. And the other half of the time, I'm just all like, how did I ever get my license in the first place? The lady who was doing my driving test, all she wanted to do was just like go around one block and she was like, okay, perfect, pass. And I was like, yes, y'all better watch out because a baddie is coming on these streets. And then I got into my first accident. <laughs> But it wasn't my fault. Literally, it was raining um, the day after. And I was, like, driving to, I think it was school. I We were at a red light. And this guy just hit me from the back. And I was like, okay. Accidents, I'm just so used to at this point. Because I was going to school in L.A. for nursing. And I, had to, I did the commute from San Diego to um, Los Angeles every day I was merging onto I think it's the 101 whatever the one is the, like to get onto Santa Monica or whatever I was merging into that lane and this guy or no the freeway entrance um, and this guy straight up was speeding in the merging like I don't even know how to describe it we were at a red light but our light turned green and then on literally across from us that light had like a merging thing to get onto the freeway the guy just zoomed and I know they had a red light because the lady next to me oh I'm so happy she stopped because she was my witness to everything that happened and um yeah he totaled my entire so this is like car number two he totaled my entire car because I don't know how fast he was going but obviously it had to be super fast because they ran me up the ramp and then my car just like as we were like rolling back started breaking like the whole bottom of the car came off and then the whole passenger side of my car was completely done and then my driver's side door wouldn't open. Oh, MG. So, 
that totaled my other car. So that was another accident. And I just got out of school that day and it was traffic hour. So I don't even understand why he was going that fast, but that happened. And then another time was when I was actually trying to exit off of Santa Monica and this car freaking cut me off and I ran into the center divider. I swear, <laughs> I can't make this up. I really can't. Like, if I still had the pictures, I'm pretty sure my best friend has them because I send her pictures for every accident I have ever been into, which is hilarious. So, um, maybe she'll have them. If she does have them, I'll insert every single car that I had and like all the damage that each car had. That is, because it's crazy. But now we got champagne. So no accidents, knocking on wood. He's reliable. So apparently it's an 85 minute wait at the DMV. So we got time, I'm starving. I don't know why, but I'm really craving I just really like the french fries, the sweet tea, and chicken nuggets, and their cookies, fresh. Um, those are so good to me. James was porking it at home, eating the rest of the Popeyes, which we got a 16 piece, and he legit, like, was hungry, because I went to go see, like, how many was left because I thought I was thinking about just eating a little bit before I uh, headed out. Girl, he didn't save me like anything. And like, it was the, like the legit chicken wing part that got no meat, just like coating. And I'm like, okay. So now I'm hungry. He was like, I can make you some noodles. He tried it. He really tried it. Talking about, I can make you some noodles. Honey. <laughs> I was like, no, it's okay. I'll just go get something while we're out, but it has to be cheap. And he was all like, okay. But the chicken was good though. And I was like, I'm sure. But I am almost at my best friend's house. So I'm going to play a little bit of music really quick. And then when I get there, I'll let you know. But I'll let you know when we're at the DMV. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I was bumping Drake's um, new album. Girl, I love it. I love it. It's so catchy. My favorite song, oh, I cannot speak. My favorite song at the moment is um, Tried Our Best. I don't know why it's slow, but it's catchy. I really like it. And then there's this other song I can't remember, but yeah. Drake's new album, I'm probably late in the game, like always, um, is really good. And I know Beyonce um, released an album during the Super Bowl, which I'm really late on, I know. But I haven't heard anything about it. So I might just play it, um, too. And I forgot that it's, like, kids getting out of school right now. So... I was wondering why there was so much traffic here. It makes sense now. I need to get it together because when I have kids, it's gonna be me. Like um, in carpool and stuff. Makes me nervous, <laughs> to be honest. Because like originally I never wanted kids and I never wanted to get married and then look at me now, you know? Married. Planning for children in the future. I just got to my best friend's house. I would check in with you probably while we're at the DMV and then also leaving the DMV. I'll let you know how it goes. And I need dinner ideas. 
I'm getting so tired of cooking. It's not even funny. I'm gonna be in my um, food delivery era because I just can't. It's exhausting. And especially like trying to get our um, apartment back together. That's a whole like project in itself. I feel like we're basically completely moving back in or like moving in brand new, which is crazy to me. So I have to like redecorate my entire house, but it doesn't make sense to me to redecorate only because if we're going to be moving in with my cousin, then we're going to have to put everything in storage. I have first world problems. I know. It's crazy. Even sometimes I look at myself like... Get it together, you know? Okay, but I'm going to go in because I have to go to the bathroom. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Everybody asking how we doing, say we good Don't need no one to tell me how to live just like they would It ain't their business, but they in it, I don't know why Revolved around my life after I found another guy People get so caught up thinking they know everything But little do they know you wasn't just a summer fling all just fun and games so caught up in the past they yeah. acting like oh, a it's bunch of again. so it's nighttime and i'm driving home i am hangry so i'm trying to get home as fast as possible i redid my drive or i renewed my driver's license um but i got the real id and I am so happy I got a nice lady at the DMV because she literally just did everything for me. I just had to retake my photo and do my thumbprint. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I am extremely tired. <laughs> and I left like my water at my best friend's house. I am praying that my ID photo comes out nice, but I will keep you updated. I thought they were going to print it with the uh, temporary license, but apparently they don't do that. So that's where I'm at right now. And <clears throat> I don't think I can drink energy drinks anymore because I had so much energy today, but after drinking the energy drink, I can feel myself crashing. I mean crashing so hard I feel like when I get home I am definitely just gonna cook dinner I got carnitas so I'm just gonna fry up some corn tortillas to make like tostados or whatever and like shower wash my hair knock out because ew I hate when my car does that the start stop I don't know if your car does that but I hate that um and then just goes like restart my life tomorrow because today I don't know what it was but I stayed up until 5 in the morning and that or 4 in the morning James's alarm woke me up at 5 and I'm like oh my gosh and then I had to work a little bit so I barely slept but I feel definitely accomplished I told myself I wasn't going to be lazy ish but I'm definitely giving myself like free passes because that is just everybody deserves like a rest day <clears throat> but yeah I'm gonna check in with you when I get closer to home because I definitely need bleh, definitely need to play music otherwise I'm gonna fall asleep behind the wheel Please let my photo, please let my photo come out good. Honey. But yeah, I'll check in in a little bit. Okay, bye.